One day, Zhuangzi, the ancient Chinese philosopher, went to sleep and he dreamt that he was a butterfly just fluttering around, happy and carefree being a butterfly. And when he woke up, he pondered to himself, am I a man who just dreamt of being a butterfly? Or am I a butterfly who is dreaming of being a man? Now, I have no idea what type of dank Chinese crush she was on to ponder this, but... Hook your boy up! Don't hook your boy up, I... I don't do drugs. This is... Zhuang, Zhuang Zhe Butterfly Story for Dummies. Now, I personally was not in mentally in the fourth dimension from dankness from Chinese green. Uh, and this still kind of blew my mind, but this, this teaching has to do with what's real and what's a dream. The, the transformation of things, Wang Zhe called it. Uh, ponder this. When you're dreaming, you don't really know that you're dreaming. You go on with the dream like it's real life, and then you wake up, and then you realize, oh, that was a dream. Because when you're in a dream, it feels like reality. Even if you see or experience something that's completely strange in, in reality. For example, one day I was on top of a skyscraper on a balcony because... For some reason, balconies existed on top of skyscrapers and it and it made sense for some reason. Some dingleberry pushed me down and I fell. And I legitimately thought at the time, oh, okay, well, I guess I'm dead now. And then I woke up and I realized, okay, it was just a dream, yay. But while I was dreaming, the skyscraper, the, the balcony for some reason, the, the fucking dingleberry was his hand, everything felt real until it wasn't now i have no idea what the the butterfly dream things actually about i studied it as kind of confusing and from my understanding that's kind of the general consensus from the philosophy world is that this is a very difficult piece so from here on out this is my my opinion my inter interpretation of the matter. What's real and what's fake? How do we know that in a parallel universe, a butterfly fell asleep and woke up as an ancient Chinese philosopher trying to figure out if he's real? How do we know we're not dreaming right now? This very second, you and me, this video, everything could be a dream. This right now, we're dreaming. Maybe. For, uh, for clarification, you know how when you wake up from a dream, you think about the dream for a little bit, you realize it's kind of kind of hazy, some parts, like some details are hazy and shit like that. Uh, but in the dream, everything is so clear. Just like right now, in reality, it feels clear. Huh? Huh? No? Okay. Now, I, I made a, what I think is a, in my opinion, a valiant effort on trying to figure out what transformation of things is. Uh, the best way I can describe it, again, in my opinion, is it's about we, the fact that we don't know what's real and what's not real. It's a dream. Zhuangzi can be both Zhuangzi and the butterfly, which I, I guess that makes sense. What matters is that we are ourselves now, and even if we do change to a butterfly or just a different person, we should focus on ourselves. Using pop culture for a second, I, I think Doctor Who did an episode where the 11th Doctor and his companions at the time, Amy and Rory, were dreaming. Amy was pregnant and Rory, Rory had a ponytail for some reason, that was his big thing. Uh, everyone was everyone was happy and and life moved on uh, until they woke up and they were in the TARDIS and they were kind of freezing to death and then they woke up and they were in the happy little town with the pregnant Amy and the ponytail Rory and then they woke up and they were back in the TARDIS freezing to death. Um, point is, every time they woke up, uh, they were completely confident that they were awake. Uh, because they didn't truly know which side was a dream and which one was was reality. That's kind of the 
the butterfly story. That episode is the best, honestly, the best way I can, I guess, talk about the butterfly story because just reading it alone, it just, it really confused me. And again, I'm not the only one who thought that. A lot of people also thought that it's a confusing piece. Um, so yeah, that, 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 in my opinion, is a, a very good example of butterfly dream and on on an unrelated note uh studying this story kind of made me think about the self how we can uh be so fixated about what we dream to become that we kind of lose sight of where we are right now um why worry about the future when you can live in the present <laughs> yeah I, I guess that's the moral of this video because when you live in the present I think that's the best way to make use of the time given to us. That's... Oh, wait. That's the moral of this video. That's also the end of this video. Did they have ancient weed in China?